Let's talk about broad cooperation and more action to meet concrete objectives with concrete deadlines. Ukraine and NATO have agreed to press a reload button in their relations. To also provide practical support uh, to uh, uh, Ukraine. We have different trust funds. We help them to modernize their uh, uh, armed forces, their security forces. Uh, different NATO allies uh, provide partly uh, support through the NATO mechanisms, but also bilateral support, uh, training, uh, 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 and different kinds of support. We help them with command and control, uh, cyber. Foreign training missions have been active in Ukraine for years. Likewise, Ukrainian military regularly partake in international exercises, both in and outside of Ukraine, often training alongside the armed forces of Ukraine's NATO partners. For us, the primary goal is ensuring our defense capability. And unfortunately, we've been doing so employing third-generation Soviet weapons. We'd like to switch to modern armaments, including NATO-compliant systems. Now, practically all new systems are compatible with the NATO standards. Some experts insist that while full NATO membership remains a distant prospect, Ukraine must focus on cooperation with the United States. Cooperation with NATO and moving towards NATO integration is the correct path. But first and foremost, we must develop our relations with those partners with which they are natural, and that's mainly the United States. Becoming one of the main allies of the USA would give us great opportunities in military and technological cooperation with Washington. We have a number of advancements that may interest the United States. These are primarily missile systems, including Sapsan, Vilha, Neptune and others, which have been developed by Ukraine's military-industrial complex during the past few years. Experts insist that having its own armaments and technology is crucial for Ukraine to forge a closer partnership with NATO and key partners such as the United States. Reported by Igor Medelian for UATV.